Hi, this is a product demonstration for the latest solar USB chargers for the iPhone. And we're going to have a race between which solar charger will charge the iPhone the fastest. And first up is the Solio Bolt charger. This is the latest solar charger from Solio. It's got a built-in battery and it folds up like so. And uh, unfortunately, you can't charge directly from the solar panel. Uh, if the if the battery inside is dead, let me show you. So the battery inside is dead. Unfold it, push the button, and nothing happens. And that's because the solar panel is not directly connected to the iPhone. It's connected to the battery inside the Solio. So that's going to be in the race. We'll see how it does. Next up is the next is the no the Gold, Gold Zero Nomad 7 charger. It's a folding solar panel. It claims the Nomad 7 claims 7 watts of power, which seems like pretty but pretty a lot of power for an iPhone, so we'll see how it works in this race. And the other end, the last entry is the Sun S Sun Tactics S Charger 5. It's another sol folding solar panel. It has a USB port right here. It's it's a, a five watt solar panel, and we'll see how it how it uh, does in the race. All right, so let's begin the test and see which solar panel will charge the iPhone the fastest. So I'm going to set up the solar panels along this ledge right here. I'm going to angle the solar panels towards the sun at pretty much the same angle. Alright, so we're going to race these two iPhones and the test will begin right now. Alright, so the iPhone on the right which is being charged by the Goal Zero Nomad 7 is at 78%. And the iPhone on the left is being charged by the Sun Tactics S Charger 5, which is at 77%. So the iPhone um, on the left, uh, or the iPhone on the right, is has a 1% head start. So the Goal Zero Nomad 7 has a 1% head start against the Sun Tactics S Charger 5. So we'll see if the iPhone on the left can catch up and surpass the iPhone on the right. So let's take a quick look at the setup here. So we can see the S Charger 5 and the Goal Zero Nomad 7 and the Solio. They're pretty much set up at the same angle towards the sun. And um, there's no shadows or anything blocking the way. So this test is going to be done in real time. No video editing, just to show that, um, just to show that this race is fair and there's no time lapse or anything going on here. And it looks like it looks like the iPhone on the left has gone up to 78%. The iPhone on the right is at 78%, so they're both tied. And they're running neck and neck right now. So let's see how, what the Solio is doing right now. Well, the Solio Bolt right now is just sitting there charging its internal battery. It's not connected to anything because it's waiting for its uh, internal battery to charge up. And so you can't plug you can't plug anything into it while it's charging while the battery is charging from the solar panels. And because there's smaller solar panels, 
And then the other solar panels, it's gonna take all day to charge up that internal battery. So you just have to wait and uh, let it sit there and then you can plug something in after, after the day is over. But in the meantime, we're charging iPhones directly uh, with the other panels. <clears throat> so both iPhones are still at 78%. All right, so the iPhone on the right has just gone up to 79%, and the iPhone on the left just got up to 79%. So they're very close, they're still running pretty much neck and neck. Now, can the Sun Tactics S Charger 5 charging the iPhone on the left come from behind and pass up the Go Zero Nomad 7 charging the iPhone on the right? We'll see. And if, and just after these few minutes, we'll see. Which one wins the race? So just to see the cable connecting to each uh, solar panel. So this this cable is going to that solar panel. The, so this phone is connected to the Sun Tactics S Charger 5, while the other phone is connected to the Gold Zero Nomad 7. Alright, so both phones are still at 79%. And this is real time. Alright, so the iPhone on the left has just gone up to 80%. And so the uh, looks like the Sun Tactics S Charger 5 charging the iPhone on the left has has uh, taken the lead over the Gold Zero Nomad 7 charging the iPhone on the right with uh, 79%. So looks like this lead is uh, is a pretty good lead. So it looks like the iPhone on the left being charged from the Sun Tactics S Charger 5 has come from behind and taken the lead. Now let's look at what the Solio is doing over here. Well, the Solio over here is we're still waiting for that internal battery inside to charge up. So um, they can't really plug in any iPhone because uh, the battery inside is, needs to charge ups in order to charge anything, any iPhones or any other iPhone products. All right, so it looks like that lead is still being maintained by the Sun Tactics S Charger 5. So we have 80% on the left and 79% on the right. So this concludes the test and it looks like the Sun Tactics S Charger 5 has won the race, taken, come from behind and taken the lead. All right, so we just did the test. Looks like the Sun Tactics S Charger 5 has come from behind and won the race. And what does that mean in terms of what, what kind of current is it actually outputting to the iPhone? Well, here's a, I have a special cable hooked up to this solar panel. And so, and so let's take a look at the cable. So I have this USB cable. It's an iPhone USB cable that's split, that's, got, uh, that's gotten spliced, and now I'm reading this. I'm gonna be reading the current off this multimeter showing the, how many milliamps is going through here? So I'm going to plug it, plug it into the phone here. So I'm showing that it's charging at six six hundred and seventy-five milliamps.
Okay, so that's with the Sun Tactics S Charger 5. And so now I'm gonna I'm gonna plug the I'm gonna plug this test cable into the other into the Gold Zero Nomad 7. And we'll do the same test. So both solar panels were at pretty much the same angle. And we'll see why the Sun Tactics S Charger 5 beat the Gold Zero Nomad 7. All right. Well, it looks like it's it looks like the uh, Gold Zero Nomad 7 is charging at 489 milliamps. So that is a lot lower than the Sun Tactics X Charger 5. So that is why the Sun Tactics S Charger 5 came from behind and beat the Gold Zero Nomad 7 because current as far as charging is bigger is better and the Gold Zero Nomad 7 has lower current. So let, let me plug it back into the other solar panel just to verify. And we can see that the Sun Tactics is charging, uh, Sun Tactics X Charger 5 is charging at 702 milliamp, 700, 702 milliamps. So bigger is better. It's got 300 more milliamps coming out than the, uh, or many hundreds, hundreds of milliamps more than the uh, Gold Zero Nomad 7. So bigger is better. That's why the Sun Tactics X Charger 5 won the race. All right, now that the race is finished and we found out that the Sun Tactics S Charger 5 is the most powerful USB solar charger out of the three, you might be thinking to yourself, well, I got an iPhone on my, mounted to my bicycle, it runs out of power, how do I put this solar panel on my bike to charge my iPhone? Well, I've invented just the product for that. This is the Solar Cycle Pro kit for the bicycle, it's a rear rack for the Sun Tactics S Charger 5. The solar panel just slides right in, locks into place, and directly charges the iPhone mounted to the handlebar. And that's the solar cycle, solar cycle pro kit for the bicycle.